Meow and welcome to Morrowind Monday. I just mm. wanted to say Panthe plays Morrowind, which would also be correct. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be yours for this episode. We just arrived in Wolverine Hall, Sedrith Mora, Major's Guild, after having had a nice visit to our friend Ajira. We are headed over to Telmora, where there is a woman called Letty. She is suffering from swamp fever, and the temple asks us to heal her, so we are going to go by boat from here, passing through the Imperial Shrine. Thank you very much, just passing through. Suffering from a great loss of frame rate, as always in this area. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Yeah. Just stay out of my way and I will stay out of trouble. And... Go by boat. Being here reminds me that we also should check on more duties with the council, but for now I'm just sticking with the temple quests. Oh, the glorious frame rate drops here. There we are, the shipyard. So I guess, I think it was that person over there. Yes, travel to Telmora. Thank you very much. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. I'm looking for a woman called Lette. She's on the shore to the north. Well, that's easy, on the shore to the north. Let's simply head to the north. How may I help you? Oh, hi, Emmeline. I guess this is supposed to be her, isn't it? Why did I say like this? Is this? I think it was just the instinct of clicking, pressing the button, the one key on the keyboard. This is her. So Hello, what do you Lettie. want? Yes, I have swamp fever. My head is swimming and I feel terribly weak. Oh, not for long, ma'am. Get ready for healing. Thank you. Thank you for curing me, Nighty. Well, not much of a problem. I feel much better. Thank you. So, let me real quick figure out how to get back on theirs. That's the route. I was pondering if I should switch over from Temple Quests to the Telvanni Quests, but, um, yeah. Somehow I do like doing the Temple Quests for as far as we can. Anything I can do for you? Well, basically, I thought I, this had a second exit, honestly. Well, then I, it seems like I need to do this. No, wait. No, I can't restore Magicka by waiting, so swim over. And get up here. And go back to... Sedrith Mora. Sedrith Mora. Sedrith Mora.
Couldn't I just use MCV inter intervention to get to the nearest temple? Shouldn't it be more like Mar? Let's try. It is the temple of Molagmar. Uh, I think it was that person over here. Yep. Uh, yes, I cured Lette. Lette has been cured. You're indeed worthy of the tribunal's praise. Perhaps you would enjoy this book. Book. Although it's clear, clearly heretical, it contains a gem of truth in its lesson of healing and resistance. Are you ready for more duties? Well, let me first read the book that you gave me, shouldn't I? 2920 Reigns Hand. Book 4 of 2920, The Last Year of the First Era, by Kalavak Tanaway. 3rd of Reigns Hand, 2920, Cold Harbor, Oblivion. Sothasil proceeded as quickly as he could through the blackened halls of the palace, half submerged in brackish water. All around him, nasty, gelatinous creatures scurried into the reeds. Bursts of white fire lit up the upper arches of the hall before disappearing, and smells assaulted him, rancid death one moment, sweet flower perfume the next. Several times he had visited the Daedra princes in their oblivion, but every time something different awaited him. He knew his purpose and refused to be distracted. Eight of the more prominent Daedra princes were awaiting him in the half-melted doomed room, a domed room. Azura, Prince of Dusk and Dawn, Buifia, Prince of Plots, Hermamora, Daedra of Knowledge, Hersin, the Hunter, Malakath, God of Curses, Maroon's Dagon, Prince of Disaster, Molag Baal, Prince of Rage, Shiogorath, the Mad One. Above them the sky cast tormented shadows upon the meeting. Fifth of Rain's Hand, 2920, the Isle of Arteum, Somerset. Sotha Seal's voice cried out, echoing from the cave, Move the rock! Immediately the initiates obeyed, rolling aside the great boulder that blocked the entrance to the dreaming cavern. Sotha Seal emerged, his face smeared with ash, weary. He felt he'd been away for months, years, but only a few days had transpired. Liletha took his arm to help him walk, but he refused her help with a kind smile and a shake of his head. Were you successful? she asked. The Daedra princess I spoke with have agreed to our terms, he said flatly. Disasters such as befell Gil Gilverdale should be averted. Only through certain intermediaries, such as witches or sorcerers, will they answer the call of man and mer. And what did you promise them in return? asked the Nordboy Welleg. The deals we make with the Daedra, said Sothasil, continuing on to Iaches's palace to meet with the master of the Psychic Order, should not be discussed with the innocent. Eighth of Rain's Hand, 2920, the Imperial City, Cyrodiil. A storm billeted the windows of the Prince's bedchamber, bringing the smell of moist air to mix with the censers filled with burning incense and herbs. Censors. So you use that word not for people who censor things, but also things that burn incense. Interesting. I learned a little English lesson here. <laughs> a letter has arrived from the Empress, your mother, said the courier, anxiously inquiring after your health. What? Oh, your mother was not the way of addressing the person. It's the princess bedchamber, so... A letter has arrived from the empress, your mother, said the courier, anxiously inquiring after your health. <sighs> what frightened parents I have, laughed Prince Juliak from his bed. It's only natural for a mother to worry, said Savrian Krorek, the potented son. There's everything unnatural about my family, Akavir. My exiled mother fears that my father will imagine me of being a traitor, covetous of the throne, and his heaven poisoned, the prince sank back into his pillow annoyed. The empress, ha, emperor has insisted on me having a taster for all my meals, as he does. There are many plots, agreed the Akavir. You have been abed for nearly three weeks with every healer in the emperor shuffling through, shuffling through like a slow ballroom dance. At least all can see that you're getting stronger. 
Strong enough to lead the vanguard against Morrowind soon, I hope. The 11th of Rain's Hand, 2020. The Isle of Ertium, Somerset. The Initiates... Yeah, this is the last episode. The Initiates stood quietly in a row along the Arbor Loggia, wa watching in the long, deep, marble-lined trench ahead of them flash with fire. The air above it vibrated with the waves of heat. Though each student kept his, kept his or her face sturdy and emotionless as a true psychic would, their terror was nearly as palpable as the heat. Sofa Seal closed his eyes and uttered the charm of fire resistance. Slowly he walked across the basin of leaping flames, climbing to the other side unscathed. Not even his white robe had been burned. The charm is identical. The charm is intensified by the energy you bring to it, by your own skills, just as all spells are, he said. Your imagination and your willpower are the keys. There is no need for a spell to give you resistance to air or resistance to flowers, and after you cast the charm, you must forget there is even a need for a spell to give you resistance to fire. Do not confuse what I am saying. Resistance is not about ignoring the fire's reality. You will feel the substance of the flame, the texture of it, its hunger, and even its heat, but you will know that it will not hurt or injure you. The students nodded, and one by one they cast the spell and made the walk through the fire. Some even went so far as to bend over and scoop up a handful of fire and feed it air so, ex ex so it expanded like a bubble and melted through their fingers. Sothasil smiled. They were fighting the fear admirably. The chief proctor, Thargalev, came running from the arbor arches. Sothasil, Almalexia has arrived on Arteum. Iachesis told me to fetch you. Sothasil turned to Thargalev only for a moment, but he knew instantly from the screams what had transpired. The Nord lad, Welleg, had not cast the spell properly and was burning. The smell of scorched hair and flesh panicked the other students who were struggling to get out of the basin, pulling him with them, but the incline was too steep away from the entry points. With a wave of his hand, Sothasil extinguished the flame. Wallach and several other students several other students were burned, but not badly. The sorcerer cast a healing spell on them before turning back to Thargalith. I'll be with you in a moment, and give Almalexia the time to shake the road dust from her train. Sofa Seal turned back to the students, his voice flat. Fear does not break spells, but doubt and incompetence are great enemies of the spellcaster. Master Wellek, you will pack your bags. I'll arrange for a boat to bring you to the mainland tomorrow morning. The sorcerer found Almalexia and Iachesis in the study, drinking hot tea and laughing. She was more beautiful than he had remembered, though he had never before seen her so disheveled, wrapped in a blanket, dangling her damp long black tresses before the fire to dry. As Sothasil approached, she leapt to her feet and embraced him. <laughs> Did you swim all the way from Morrowind? he smiled. It's pouring rain from Skywatch down to the coast, she explained, returning a smile. Only half a league away, and it never rains here, said Iachesis, proudly. Of course, I sometimes miss the excitement of Somerset, and sometimes even the mainland itself. Still, I'm always very impressed by anyone out there who gets anything accomplished. It's a world of distractions. Speaking of distractions, what's all this I hear about war? You mean the one that's been bloodying the continents for the last 80 years, Master? asked Sotha Seal, amused. I suppose that's the one I mean, said Iachesis with a shrug of his shoulders. How is that war going? We will lose it unless I can convince Sotha Seal to leave Arteum, said Almalexia, losing her smile. She had meant to wait to talk to a friend in private, but the old Altmer gave her courage to press on. I've had visions, I know it to be true. So Thassil was silent for a moment, and then looked at Iadjusis. I must return to Morrowind. Knowing you, if you must do something, you will, sighed the old master. 
The, the Psyjic's way is not to be distracted. Wars are fought, empires rise and fall. You must go, and so must we. What do you mean, Yetchesis? You're leaving the island? No, the islands will be leaving the sea, said Yetchesis, his voice taking on a dreamy quality. In a few years, the mists will move over Ateum, and we will be gone. We're counselors by nature, and there are too many counselors in, in Tamriel as it is. No, we will go, and return when the land needs us again. Perhaps in another age. The old Altmer struggles to his feet and drained the last sip of his drink before leaving Sothasil and Almalexia alone. Don't miss the last boat. The year continues in second seed. There we are. And I'm really strained just by, well, by, by recording for so long, or by playing for so long. I think I never played three hours straight. It was only two hours. So as I said, this will be the last recording of today. But now we will get a new duty, duty first. To prove that you are wise and brave, you must make the pilgrimage to Mount Kant. Oh, I've heard about that one. I want you to make the pilgrimage to there, which uh, to Mount Kant, which is northwest of Molagmar. It's on the left side of the trail. I will mark it on your map. On Mount Kant, Vivek won a contest of woods with three Daedra. There are few lights in the caverns. You may need these potions. If you're not good with riddles, you may want to find a copy of the Yellow Book of Riddles. Several booksellers have this book. He gives us, us. A panther. Potions of a night eye. Well, he means, he means well. I'm not taking this as an insult here. Well, thank you very much. The yellow book of riddles, you say. I don't have it, and I'm in... What was that? Let's try the riddles without it before sh first, should we? Let's see. Oh, that's, that's actually a forbidden chest. Let's try it without first. And I have something to drink. My patience is limited. And my mouth is dry. This way faster than. Do I have heart heal set to a number? Yes, it's number nine. Okay, and let's head, I think. So this is Mount Asarni Bibi, and Mount Kand is uh, that way. So let us do the pilgrimage. I just wanted to say and enjoy the ashen landscape, but who can enjoy an ashen landscape, honestly? We've walked this way before. Remember when we went for, for that... Um, for that dwarven ruin where we were to fetch something. So I'm going to just follow the trail. I think, yeah, this is actually where we are. We were not following this route, but we were walking around here. Since we are going to Mount Kand, I suppose, we should head upstairs. And it does make sense because Mount Kant is slightly to the left. Or slightly west. To, not just plain north. I failed casting the spell, and now I don't have enough magicka. 
If you hear a beeping, that's our ice machine, which complains that the ice is full. So this is not um, like something built into the fridge or something, it's an external ice machine where you have to manually fill in water. And it just says, I'm stopping to work because the ice is full. Until its temperature sensor notices that the ice is empty again. No, not Fireball 3. I want to go for the Fire Bite. Oh, two hits? Okay. Is this the shrine? Mount Kant Cavern. I guess it is. Let's drop a quick save. Heal up, which drops a save. And get inside. So much for darkness. Being a panther, we have Night Eye 25 points constantly. Let's see if we can best those riddles deep in the caverns. Okay, this is this is a fire atronach, which is bad because. Well, it should be fire resistant. See? Target resistant magic. And it shoots fire. But it's not poison resistant. Also, we should have. Do we have Soul Trap? Do we have Soul Trap? Because. Oh, there is already a Bone Lord inside. Okay. This is something. Flame Atronach. This is something that you use. That you trap. This is a soul that you'd want to trap. That's what I wanted to say. Of course, this lava pool means instant death. So we avoid it. And there is a this is interesting. This is a Frost Atronach. Could it be that these are the riddles that, um... It, he doesn't attack me when I sold the riddle? Let me check. Could it be that I could have just solved a riddle and not killed the Atronach? Yes, answer... Oh, okay. Answer this riddle for me, mortal. I think... I think... We might have botched this quest completely. <sighs> yes. You first need to solve the Fire Daedra's riddle. I hope that this thing resets. Respawns. <sighs> I didn't think that this were these were the Daedra that had the riddles. I actually thought it was these these Daedric Lord things. Well, not the Lords. These other things in the armor. Oh, this again sucks donkey balls because it means that we can't. We may not be able to finish that quest. If so, I will put it on the pile for later. But I'm now going to wait 24 hours and see if he respawns. Could be that uh, this is a respawning thing for 24 hours. Let's see. If not, again, I'm going to write a quick note and we start with the console quests. Again. At least the house quests or the council quests do give us um, a house at some point. Yep, place to live in. And maybe if we come back later in the game, he will be revived. 
And if not, then we have just utterly failed the temple quest. We don't have a save game. Be the save game before that is basically when I started recording today. Okay, first do that. And then rest. Okay. Now let's real quick fire up the note-taking thing. Pilgrimage to Mount and solve riddles of Atronachs in cavern. And an extra note. Yellow book of riddles holds the answers. Let's move this a little bit lower. There we go. And now for those on Twitch, I'm going to do a little break. I need to go Oh, I see the episode is also nearly got done, so I'm actually going to finish the episode here. I finished recording for today, so I'm also going to finish streaming for today because I need to go potty and I need to eat something. So, all of you, bye bye.